Canberra targets WA GST in wake of McGowan exit. We reveal which resources stock joined the 100 Club today. And the new work from home trend allowing Aussies to cash in. Trading Up, a collaboration by The West Australian and Grapha. And the word of the day is GST. That's technically three words we know. Apparently the shock resignation of WA Premier Mark McGowan could have implications for our state's GST cut. ACT Chief Minister Andrew Barr responded to McGowan's retirement yesterday by tweeting, WA's GST deal is surely up for grabs now. McGowan famously renegotiated WA's split of GST revenue to achieve its 70 cents in the dollar last year, up from 41 cents the previous year. But with Mr West Australia now packing his bags, the other states are keen to get more GST dollars for their coffers. Why? Because WA is one of the few state governments that delivered a surplus in its recent budget. This could get messy. Turning the spotlight onto Qantas Now, who flagged higher margins at their Investor Day in Sydney today. Fresh from announcing a record $2.5 billion profit last week, the Flying Kangaroo is now projecting up to 18% growth in margins on their domestic airline business, according to outgoing CEO Alan Joyce. Qantas shares were up 2.65% today. Staying with air travel and there's a new head honcho at Perth Airport. Perth Mint boss Jason Waters jumped ship today and will take over the state's most important transport hub after previous CEO Kevin Brown quit six months ago. The surprise resignation just adds to the woes of the troubled Perth Mint as it tries to rebuild its tarnished image. Mr Waters will join the airport at a key time as it approaches a decision on a new $1 billion runway. Talk about out of the frying pan and into the fire. <laughs> on to the markets now and Graffa's dark horse of the day is MA Financial Group. Shares in the Sydney-based asset management and advisory firm have climbed almost 9% in the last 30 days. The company recently announced assets under management increased by $610 million last year, up 50% on the previous year. MA also completed the acquisition of US firm Blue Elephant Capital Management recently. Still to come, the Aussie gas stock that doubled investors' money today. And the working from home trend Aussies are using to cash in. Stay tuned. West Farmers is cashing in on the lithium gravy train. The Perth-based conglomerate announced today that it has struck supply deals with Tier 1 customers, thought to include Tesla, for its share of production from WA's $2.6 billion Mount Holland lithium project. CEO Rob Scott also told investors in Sydney today that the business was well positioned to handle any potential downturn in the economy. <laughs> Over half of Aussie IT workers have a side hustle and some of them are performing two full-time jobs while working from home. The new survey from HR company Employment Hero found the side hustle has grown in popularity since working from home became a thing, with 51% of Aussie knowledge workers cashing in on the trend. And while many are used to having an extra job on the side, some are taking it to the next level. The survey also found a not insignificant portion of those questioned admitted to working two full-time jobs from the comfort of their lounge room. It's a concept called overemployment, apparently, and it seems to be catching on. Just don't tell your employers, plural, or the tax man for that matter. <laughs> And finally, that resources stock that doubled in price today, Gas2Grid, 
the microcap oil and gas firm, which has exploration projects in the Philippines, saw its share price rise 100% today, joining Graffa's 100 Club. The company is exploring new oil and gas projects in the region. You can find more business news content on thewest.com.au or to see all the data and insights behind this video, check out graffa.com or download our app from the App Store. Thanks for joining me on this special episode of Trading Up. I'm Sarah Hewen, see you next time.